Hey everybody, so I just wanted to make this video regarding step 2 CK. Um, got my score back. It was higher than my step 1 score, so I'll take it. But I just wanted to make a quick video. This test is a little more, not as well structured in terms of studying compared to other exams. I feel like for step 1, just because most people say it's just higher yield and um, worth more when you're applying to residencies, People put a lot of focus on step one, but step two is a way for you guys to show improvement, to make up for a bad step two, one score. Though, disclaimer, I don't know if like it 100% makes up for a step one score that's not as amazing as you'd like it to be. I think it can depend on the specialty, the program, but I mean, at that point, if you don't have a step one score that you love, then the next best thing you can do is get a step two score that blows everyone out of the water. So. It's a little harder to study for. I didn't really know what the best thing to do was, so the best advice I can give is study hard throughout your clinical rotations. Just study the best you can. Try and learn the material. Use some sort of flashcard or whatever system to kind of review each rotation as you go because, you know, I took, I had surgery and OB at the beginning of the year and then by the end of it, I don't remember even what an ectopic pregnancy is. Just kidding, I remember. But like, you know, there's some things like all the tocolytics and all that kind of stuff that you might just forget once you actually get to step two CK. So I would just recommend something. I know Zonky ended up making a step two deck that I used closer to the end of my, I think I had like one rotation left and then Zonky, he or she put the deck out. So um, I used that. I, Think you can use firecracker i think you can use that um zonky deck i think whatever just something that helps you review the material to just keep it fresh in your mind i'm a very big advocate of trying to keep things fresh in your mind just because things leave my mind easily and i think it's good just like you know to review things from earlier in the year to make it easier when it comes to study so i would use some sort of i would study hard use the required or that you know advocated books for each rotation and have something to review as you progress through each course. And um, then when you get to dedicated, I had it so I was like studying like a specific rotation, like studying OB for two days, like Gyne for two days, and it was just very sporadic. And um, I went to one of the people who works at my school and asked for guidance and she basically had me reviewing things that I hadn't seen for a long time first, so like surgery, OB heads up like internal medicine is a huge component of this exam so you know make sure you study a lot of internal medicine um the book that i mostly used was master the boards step 2 ck this is the one that i basically used other people really like first aid um it's not as like amazing as it is for step one, but it is pretty good and there are people who really loved it and some people hated it. For the master of the board, some people just don't like that it's not as in-depth as they would like it to be, but if you need something that's more like a broad overview and then you fill in the blanks yourself with like, you know, UWorld or whatever, then I think it's good. Um, someone said to also use like step two secrets. This might be in a very outdated version, but just said, you know, read a couple pages a day and it might help you get some extra questions. Um, I think it's pretty good. If you have the time to supplement, I would supplement it in. There's also step up to step two CK that I kind of used intermittently. So if there was something that I didn't really love on master of the boards, I would resort to step two CK, that step up to step two CK book. I think I lent it to someone so I don't have it on me, but it's like a purple white book. They also have Step Up to Medicine that I recommend you read for your medicine shelf. But, you know, if you're studying for Step 2, I don't know if you need to reread that. So the, those are what I'd recommend. Like OB isn't, I heard it's like great on here. I thought it was like sufficient, but I usually, I used more UWorld to study things. I just make sure you read all the questions. Um read all the explanations. So for me, I was mostly using the master of the boards. I was doing my flashcards one to two hours every day just because I'm very flashcard oriented. And I was doing UWorld. I had done UWorld throughout the year, so I reset it. And I can tell you it was like so painful to have to reset it and just start over. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I did the step, both UWorld assessments. 
I got the same score on both and I scored higher in the real exam, but um, I was being told, you know, that score was going to be like on overestimating. And I think that was true for step one, that my second year world assessment was, no, my second year world assessment for step one was 100% accurate. And then this first one was higher. So this one, it was underestimated. I took one NBME exam. It was... NBME 6 and that one lowballed it by like 10 11 points or something like that so if your scores aren't exactly where you to where you don't want where you want them to be that don't freak out they can underestimate you and I, like I'm telling you that that's what happened to me they could overestimate I think I had some friends whose U worlds actually overestimated what they were gonna get so it can vary you know, I, I don't like these assessments to actually gauge how you're doing because, you know, it's going to depend on how you're feeling the day of the exam and, um, like, what test you get. Like, sometimes you're just going to end up with a test that is heavier on topics that you're not strong on or topics that, you know, are, like, your, your style and you're going to do great. So I don't like them to, like, assess. Like, I wasn't looking at them to say, oh, I think I'm ready to take this test. I knew I was going to take the test when it was time, but... I liked knowing, you know, okay, I'm not going to fail. And I liked to learn from them. And now the NBMEs will at least tell you the right answer. I wish they would give the explanations because, you know, I can make up any random justification to say that's the right answer. But it's a step in the right direction. So I like that. And that's why I really like the U-World assessments because they will explain every right and incorrect answer. So I would recommend doing them at least to learn, even if you don't have time to, like, take it as a formal assessment just learning from it because I'm pretty sure I had at least a couple of questions that were based off of, you know, an explanation I got from your world. It helped me on a real step two CK exam question. So I think just doing questions, reminding yourself how to think through a question properly, reading the explanation, just all those things are very good for learning. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, I came out of that test being like, what the heck just happened to me? I came out of step one thinking, what the heck just happened to me? So if you feel like crud, like I literally came out and it started storming, like nobody's business. It was hilarious. It was like, how did it storm me? As soon as I stepped outside, the storm began and one of my friends actually picked me up and I was like, oh my God, what just happened to me? And what is still happening to me? But it's okay if you don't feel like you did great coming out of it. There are very few people who are like, yay, I did awesome. Like, it's okay. It's a very long, tired exam. I had to take snacks and all that stuff. It's one section longer than your step one exam because step one wasn't long enough. Let's add another section. But people traditionally tend to score higher on their step two exam versus their step one exam. The average is higher. So take some solace in that. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. This... It just sucks because, you know, for step one, I feel like there's so many plans out there that people advocate for. But hopefully the goal of step two or like what people say about step two is that it's based off of what you've been learning throughout the year. So hopefully, you know, your rotations are preparing you for step two CK. That's the hope. So hopefully like this test isn't like first, like step one where it's like, oh my God, my lecture materials literally have nothing to do with my step one exam. So I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.